Welcome back to the show. We got a great one lined up for you today. The U.S. death debt clock and wealth inversion. We got that and so much more. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show. You can follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and digperspectives.com for exclusive content. Right now, $2.2 trillion market cap for crypto. The market's off by 0.3%. 59500 plus for Bitcoin. 2600 plus for Ethereum. $116 billion plus market cap for USD Tether. USDC, $34 billion plus market cap at number six spot. Number seven is XRP at $0.57. Cents, off by 0.6 on the 24-hour and up 22.4%. On the seven day. So the range of price between 55 and 58 cents. We're sitting right smack dab in the middle of 47.57 or 57.47. Excuse me. Uh, I'm sure that woke you up. But nevertheless, let me tell you something else that will wake you up. Look, if you haven't done it, this shot from COVID has made people more sick and created side effects from which I suffer. So I wanted to share this with you to see if it could help you the way it's helping me. So take a listen. I get calls every day of people saying, listen, I've taken two or three shots. I feel sick all over. I've had COVID. We now know that the spike protein is in the body for a very long time. There has to be detoxification. So far, the only available supplement that has a detoxifying capability with respect to dissolution of the spike protein is a Japanese product called natokinase. Natokinase, an endogenous oral thrombolytic, uh, uh, basically proteolytic enzyme. And you know what? It's helping people, they're saying. So if you would like to have access to something like this, you can. And now we've done it so you can get a discount too. 10% off. First of all, you can get an emergency kit, which every family should have. No doubt about it. It comes with ivermectin, General z pack and amoxicillin. These are all generic things that every family should have this kit. There's no question. And I do now too. And you should too. And the spike formula for the detox, which I have done. And look, I've done a round of this when I had to buy all of the things separately. And it's costly and it's hard to track down. Some things run out before the other thing does. Or you could just get it all in one formula right here and take the detox and get the 10% discount code. Link underneath the video. Don't mess around. Take advantage of it before the opportunity is gone. Right here, gold is back over $2,450 in USD, nearing record highs once again. I said, let it rip. I don't have enough gold, but I do have some, and I want it to go up, and I think it will go up. And today, we're going to take a little bit different of a spin today. You guys know that years ago, I used to pull the debt clock up because we were talking about issues like money printing and things of that nature, where gold was rated, the ratio, and all of these different things that it has on here. But interestingly enough, echo the truth right here. He told me when I had him on the show, and don't worry, he'll be back on the show again. He's amazing. He has done incredible work studying and researching the U.S. debt clock. He had told me, and I did not know this until we sat down to talk about it. Actually, he told me at uh, XRP Las Vegas. But it's interesting because he told me that um, when I covered the debt clock uh, back in the day, it kind of in, inspired him. And then he started covering the debt clock and boy, did he start running with it. And he found so much information from the debt clock that he has really turned that into like a very, very big deal that he can uh, report from and it gives clues and hints about what's coming for the financial system broadly across the world. And it's a remarkable resource of information, no question about it. Well, I think he's inspired other people the way I inspired him, because now there's this lady here, and I don't know who this woman is, and maybe it's uh, Mareo X. M Excuse me if I've messed this up. Mareo X is how I'm saying it. Give this person a follow, along with Echo the Truth. This is a nice seven-minute video that breaks down a lot of different things that we've talked about along the way. I want to let this play, and I may interject like one or two spots just so we can, you know, tie in some of the things and why I pulled this video for us to analyze today. Let's start right here and take a listen. The U.S. debt clock, leaving these clues, listen to her break down some of these things and how it ties into the conversations we have often 
on this channel. Hey guys, okay, these are coming in daily. This is a new US Deck Clock message. Today is August 11th, 2024. We've got Wealth Inversion. We've got a storm cloud over DC. We talked about the storm cloud and the storm coming to DC. Hold on. On Friday. Remember Tropical Storm Willie, right? And it caught. And August by the way, let's talk about that X. And all of this looks like gold. And then all of these things are they nodes or are they satellites? Keep listening. We talked about the storm cloud and the storm coming to DC on Friday. Remember Tropical Storm Willie, right? And it caused the live stream to the White House to malfunction. We couldn't even see anything that was going on at the White House. And then later on, we had um, emergency vehicles at the White House. So some pretty crazy things have been going on. Now back to the wealth inversion. Inversion means it's like a reversal of something. And we've got the storm cloud over DC with the little zero, like nothing's there. As far as like the reserves, I guess. The entire United States is gold. And we've got the stars, we've seen the stars. And before I was thinking that the stars represented like the Native American tribes um, pre-colonization. But now I'm seeing this X in the middle of America with like the Wi-Fi signal. And I'm almost thinking maybe these stars represent Starlink or maybe the Starlink satellites or something. Maybe even the X platform tied into Starlink. And then the gold being some kind of tie to going back to a gold, some kind of gold standard, you know? And then she'll get to the colors here, which looks a lot like what we all know. Bricks, right? Keep listening. And tomorrow we have Elon Musk interviewing Trump. And Trump is making his first appearance back on X or Twitter tomorrow. And is X going to make an announcement about becoming an everything app or a super app where you have payments tied in and be able to move money, crypto, and other things of value from person to person with just their X handle? Because the live stream is going to be hosted on Trump's um, Twitter or X account. This is his first time back on Twitter. Wow. Since he was, you know, kicked off. And remember when off. we saw that the debt was wiped out showing the zeros in the shape of the um, uh, stellar sign, which stellar XLM is where the um, silver is going to be housed out of. And this, the colors here, the inversion colors, it makes, it reminds me of bricks because we know bricks, you know, the, all those countries have to have a asset backed currency. And remember, Molly Elmore floated the idea that BRICS could be the new app, or new, uh, not new app, but the new platform that everyone in the world ends up joining. You know, remember, everybody's joining BRICS except the United States and the UK at the moment right now. But it may just be that we see them join last after the rest of the world onboards to this new payment system. Or maybe it remains separate. But with a bridge currency like XRP, does any of it matter? Of course not. In order to be a part of BRICS. Here are the BRICS colors. I think all of those colors are in there except for blue. And I've seen this post kind of circulating. Um, this post that says watch XRP on August 13th and on November 4th. And Elon supposedly responded in a galactic blink of an eye on um, July 22nd of 2023. Well, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I sure will be watching XRP tomorrow morning. I could, do <laughs> But I don't expect anything to happen. And all of these nations are just waiting for XRP to activate. Japan's one that, that's wanting, that has been waiting for XRP to become active in the system with the settlement and everything like that after the lawsuit. Uh that's a fantastic point. Now, uh, and, and let's understand, Japan is in real trouble for decades upon decades about how they can't get themselves out of the quagmire they're in with their own dollar and zero interest rates, right? That's why so many large investors take Japanese yen at 0% and then go throw it into U.S. Treasuries and earn 4 or 5% <laughs> lately. 
um, Ripple XRP links a strategic deal in the Middle East, right? And we, we have all heard of the Operation Sandman, which Operation Sandman is allegedly a, a collaboration of 100 nations in agreement to simultaneously sell off their U.S. Treasury holdings. It will be sent back to the U.S. to collapse the U.S. dollar. So now you get into this whole idea of understanding, like, what are we really talking about here, right? And the idea of, if I could just move it to here, so you can see um, this X and the gold and what looks to be like Starlink or nodes. Something's coming. You know, it's like, look, and I feel like, you know, the debt clock, whoever's running and operating that understands this too, clearly right? To send these kind of signals. Is it inside signals? No. I think it's somebody that sees the world much like we see it aligning, right? And it's pretty remarkable. And to understand and remind ourselves that tonight we are going to see an interview. And today they were launching 23 Starlink satellites into the sky. And this is where you can see they're marking back in June the 100 country territory and other markets covered by Starlink's high-speed, low-latency internet available. You know, if you think about the change that's coming in the monetary system, it has to happen with the way that we communicate and send information. Right there is where it starts. Because if you don't have the ability to control the way the, the information and value is moved around the world through, obviously, satellites... Well, then you don't have a new system at all, right? So when I think of these things like the interview tonight with Elon Musk and Trump, and I understand that Trump has been favoring now digital assets, crypto broadly, where he was against it his first four years. Now he's for it, sitting down with the guy who's putting the new internet in the sky for the world to use that can never be shut down or cut off or manipulated. Who soon will be launching a new search engine that will crush the biased Googles of the world from trying to control a narrative that controls all of us. You know, one of the last things we need to see is the dismantling of mainstream media because it is there that the narrative, the lies are carried with a weight that no one has yet to be able to shatter or tear down. We need to see the dismantling of mainstream media so the lie for the deep state of government can no longer be carried on the backs of mainstream media. We need to see the same thing happen to mainstream media that happened to the music industry, the way it was decentralized with the onset of file sharing. We need to see mainstream media decentralized and dismantled the same way that the taxi industry was when Uber and Lyft came along. X is starting to do that to mainstream media now. But it can't just be X. We need some others to join in with making sure that there is no inhibit factors to algorithms and things of that nature when it comes to free speech and censorship. Tonight, again, Linda Yaccarino shows us all, don't miss it, it's going to be President Donald Trump, a real conversation with him and Elon Musk, and all topics are on the table, according to Elon Musk, and it's live. XRP gears up for the biggest breakout in history. I say bring it on. We're all ready for it. I'm not trying to tease you. I'm just as ready as you are. There's no question about it. Not financial advice from me or anyone else. If you haven't joined the Freedom Zone and seen what I've shown people in there today about that new video of that guy running so clearly in the open on top of that roof in Butler, Pennsylvania, I told you that there's more footage out here that is going to uncover and unravel the lies that they're currently trying to cover up. You know why we haven't heard in force from Secret Service? Because they're waiting for all that footage to surface so then they can craft the perfect lie to marry it all. 
You heard it here first. Not financial advice from me or anyone else. I'll catch all of you on the next one.